hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing this beautiful beautiful baby shower um set up and don't forget before we jump into the video to like the video please it really goes a long way subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and just come and you know have a good time i will be listing um listing all the colors i use in the description box and uh yeah just the colors that you so let's get started and let me show you guys how i created this setup behind the chair so this is the stand i use i when i was speaking with the client we really didn't have any kind of backdrop options so i bought this alone just in case i needed to do something freestanding which i ended up dead doing um when i noticed like i knew she was going to have the rack but um we didn't talk about anything else i was like let me bring this just in case which i end up using so if you haven't seen that that is pretty much what i use when i'm doing a column i use that to slide into the pvc that's that same stand and i have those a lot of those actually in my house so i'm bringing it just to use as a basically if you wanted to use like a, a pole lamp you can do the same thing so um sorry a lamp pole <laughs> a lamp pole you can do the same thing like that but i already have these in the house and i already had to come back to pick up my pipe and drape so i didn't need um i didn't it wasn't necessary for me to go buy a lamp if i already have like these kind of stands in my home that i can just bring and use so i'm using clusters of eight and clusters of six balloons um that cluster that new cluster that i have on my head is a cluster of eight balloons and i'm tying that everything i do i tie um night to night for all my clusters and sometimes i use a 260 depending on um, how long the neck is and how tired my hand is so um, right now I am just extending it out I wanted to just do um, in my head I was like okay I'm gonna just do like a nice flare going from behind the chair down to the floor um, I love any kind of flood look is really really pretty so that's what I'm doing I'm going in I'm adding my clusters to get that shape that I'm looking for um, and for color placement i was originally trying to keep like the nude and that cameo color separate from each other um but somehow it's just i don't know i still end up having it somewhere near each other which wasn't bad um so right here you guys see me looking at this piece of yellow the mustard i'm going to take it out and switch it around um those larger balloons was at the end um, which you guys know i don't like my um large 16 inch balloons at the end of any garland i like them in the middle so i end up switching it around and now having those in the middle which i think makes a really big difference i think it gives it a more finished look when the smaller balloons are surrounding the larger balloons i don't know let me guys let me let me know what you guys think in the comment section um me personally i definitely like when my larger balloons are in like the middle of any kind of design and not at the end sticking out or just um fully at the end so here here i'm go um, here i go <laughs> um at the bottom and i'm starting to add some rig points to keep everything from moving um and i'm doing like a half h method this is probably like the t method i don't know <laughs> you guys know sometimes i get lazy with the h method on the floor i may just do one strip of tape but there i did two pieces and this is the famous quad of four balloons that I use to end my garland. Um, and mainly because I like the look that a quad of four gives versus like a cluster. Um, when I'm ending my garland, a cluster just doesn't sit all the way on the floor. And sometimes it, you know, it starts to... It just looked bulky to me so i think when you end your garland with a quad of four balloons it kind of it gives it into the design and it makes it more like flat line if that makes sense in my head it all makes sense you guys like it's like 
you know, I'm doing a dot pattern. Everything makes sense. So I don't know if it makes sense when I try to explain it out loud. But to me, I think when I end my designs with quads of four, like you guys are going to see, I'm going to add more and you'll see. But I moved the chair out of the way because I wanted to cover up. It was a little space that you couldn't really see unless she was like up close. But once I add it there, you guys can see how it kind of filled it in. Here I'm adding another quad of four. And you see how it just sits there. And I'm going to add another rig point as I'm adding the quads of four so they don't lift up but you guys see how it just sits right on the floor it's not too bulky um I love it <laughs> I love the look it gives so I'm doing the same thing for this other quad that I have I'm going to add another ray point and again I didn't use the T method or the H method for that I just used one piece of tape um I believe I used the gaff tape on those because that's what I had so I go back and forth between gap tape. No, I think that's a piece of duct tape. So duct tape, duct tape, is it duct or duct? I don't know. Duct tape and then gap tape. So I go back and forth. And that was another quad I just added. And that how and that's how that looked. And I will be, if I didn't mention, that all the colors will be in the description box as, as well as the vendors that I purchased these balloons from. So here I am going and adding yes another quad and i think for this part where i added that quad sometimes there can be a space in between if you add two quads next to each other but well, not like right next but where that mustard and that cameo is it was like a space in between i can either i think next time i'm gonna test it because between the cameo and that sage green i did a cluster six balloon so i think i may have to do like quad cluster six quad cluster six depending on how the design is of course but in this instance i probably could have did like maybe a cluster next to it and then did the quad because sometimes it does cause a little spacing and i think you guys want to see that actually on the other design I did on how it can cause a little spacing if you try to do quiet, quiet, quiet sometimes. Um, because it, it does sit right on the ground, so it doesn't cause, it doesn't actually create like some kind of thickness. It's there only to, you know, close out the design in my opinion, but it doesn't actually create like some kind of fullness um, at the bottom. So you still may need to implement those clusters of six balloons next to it. So every, every other one. You know, again, it doesn't have to be like that for every design, but I did notice that during this design. So I'm adding my five inch balloons, just going around. They are already pre and free. And I did have another setup I was doing, but this is something I started to do differently, which is once I finish one piece of, you know, whatever design I'm doing, then I add the five inches and then I start the next one th that way. That way, I'm finished with this. I don't have to go back and touch it. It's kind of like, you know, I'm trying to do, like, different process improvements. So, you know, we talk about it, work on how to touch things one time and not have to repeatedly touch the same kind of task. And this is how I'm trying to do it now. So, once I finish the, doing the body, I'm adding the five inches. That way, I don't have to touch you again and I'm done. <laughs> And now I'm doing the next setup, which is this red. It was so pretty. They have, like, the baby clothes on there, everything. Um, it was really, really nice. And I think I ended up having to cut out some stuff because um, people was in the camera way. But I got most of the setup for here. Um, this one, I didn't have... I didn't really have a plan. I was just going to just add stuff <laughs> until I like the shape. And I think I ended up really, really liking the shape. I seen one thing that I could have maybe added some more balloons but for the most part i just wanted to really not do too much on this side only because i wanted to really showcase like the actual rack i didn't want to do a lot so that's what i'm doing here i'm playing with the balloons i'm twisting them around see what i like see what i don't like again i'm tying all these clusters neck to neck um yeah and this is the part that got skipped some stuff, but yeah. So this is where we at. And I think really the game changer for this design is when I added um, that sage green. I'm going to add it all the way at the top. And it's going to basically right here where I'm adding this. And it basically 
curved the design a little bit and i really think it gave it a nice unique shape you guys know i'm obsessed with like all different kind of shapes and just creating different shapes with the designs and i think once i added that sage green cluster it really gave the whole design a nice shape um that i really really like so this was a really good setup and this was a small intimate setup but i've been really enjoying my smaller setups like i like the big setups they pay well but i like the smaller setups i like when i can really be more creative i feel like larger setups is hard to keep a good shape with smaller setups even though it, well no it's hard for it to not have a nice shape for smaller and larger setups but i just enjoy the smaller setups um you know, it's less stressful. Um, you can really play around and do something different for each one if you really have the time. So, yeah, I've been really enjoying them. And now just going in, adding in my five-inch balloons. You guys can't see it from this angle, but at the front, those are two quads next to each other. So, we have that nude and that cameo. So, that right there, I wish I can pause it, but... Um, right there in that corner, I think I could have added maybe another quad or maybe a cluster to kind of fill that in. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if... Sorry, guys. I'm going to see if I can go ahead. Right there on the left in that front, I think I could have closed in that space. And I think that's the only thing I've really seen on this setup that I could have done. Um, for the most part, everything else was really good. I really, really love this out. Like, the colors was just so perfect. And it, like, set the tone for 2023. But this is the final set of you guys. I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.